Hello, hello, my prep stars. I'm so happy today. We're learning something super cool, and I can't wait to get started with you. But first, we need to sing the welcome song. Are you ready? Let's sing the welcome song. Here we go. Sing hello. to like and comment on this video so you can tell me if I'm doing a good job, okay? Also, don't forget to subscribe here on YouTube. And thank you so much for being a patron. You're helping support my lessons here and I can't thank you enough. Let's get started, all right? Pull out your lesson book, here we go. Last lesson, which song did we learn? Do you remember? Quiet River, yes! <laughs> Did you have fun practicing that one? It's so pretty, it's such a pretty song. You know, it actually makes a really good recital song. So if you're thinking about participating in recital stand, Quiet River is a great choice. Let's turn to page 17 and let's play through it together, okay? Here we go. <laughs> let's switch to piano view. All right, my friends. We are here with our beautiful piano view. Let's find our middle C with our right hand finger, one thumb. And then our left hand is going to be on the G below middle C. This is moderately slow, of course. And we're going to be playing it piano. Let's count off. One, two, ready, play. sounded so peaceful. Did you enjoy playing through it? I certainly did. I'm so proud of you for learning such a tricky song. All right, let's move on. Are you ready for your new song? Yeah, you're always ready for some new stuff. <laughs> let's turn the page to page 18. And we have a cool song today called Rockets. And this is one of my favorites in the book, okay? This one is so great because it illustrates for us what it means to start low and move higher on your keyboard, just like a rocket would, right? A rocket starts on the earth and it blasts up, just like you'll do with your piano, okay? This is great. So I see that my rockets begins with the left hand, finger five on a bass clef C, okay? You notice each of the notes after that first one are a little bit higher each and every time. That's your rocket, okay? It's blasting up. And then it ends with you playing a harmonic second with your right hand and or with your left hand while your right hand is playing three notes then opens to a harmonic third while your right hand ends on a C. Now we've actually never played harmonics and right hand notes at the same time. This is the first time you are seeing this. 
Now, it's a big step because we know in piano, we are going to have to get used to playing notes with harmonics and melodics at different times in our songs. So this is an exciting one for sure. Let's switch to piano view so we can work on this together, okay? You can do it. I know you can, <laughs> just like those astronauts. <laughs> All right, looking here at rockets. Now I do see that the tempo is moderately fast. That's okay, we're actually not gonna play it fast right now because that would be too tricky. We're just learning it, this is the first time. I see my time signature is three, four times, so three beats a measure, okay? And the quarter note gets the beat. We're starting forte because of course, a rocket is super loud especially when it's blasting off at the beginning. Okay, let's find our C position. We've got our right hand finger one thumb on middle C, our left hand thumb on our G below middle C, and fanning out the rest of our fingers. You see the pattern at the beginning. Space note, space note, space note. So that's telling us that we're playing some thirds, okay? When we move from a space note to a space note, that right there is going to be your third. Once we get to the right hand, we're also doing thirds because it's line note, line note, line note. And then it follows with our harmonic and melodic in each hand playing at the same time. It's pretty tricky, but we can do it very slowly. Here we go, let's give it a good try. One, two, three, Ready and play. C, E, G, right hand C, E, G, down a step to F with a second, E, D, down to C with a third in the left, two, and rest. Let's try line two. C, E, G. to F with a second, E, D, down to C and a third, two, three. Interesting, huh? It's really interesting how those movements work together. Sometimes it can be really tricky to play a harmonic and something totally different in the right hand. It just is going to take a little bit of work to try and get that just right, okay? To make it easier, Let's see if we can play just the left hand by itself. And we will count that measure of rest when the right hand comes in. Let's double check those harmonic intervals so you feel more comfortable. Here we go. All right, now I see, starting with that bass clef low C pinky finger five, and I am in position, okay? Left hand only, here we go. One, two, three, ready, and play. C, E, G, right hand, right hand, right hand. Now left hand second, two, three, then a third, two, and rest. Line two, C, E, understand when you take your hands apart? I always find that it's easier for me when I'm learning my music to take it hands apart too. So don't ever worry that it's going to mess up your learning if you do it hands apart. In fact, it's the opposite. It strengthens your knowledge in that hand so you can play it hands together even more confidently, okay? Let's try the right hand by itself now, okay? Switching to piano view. All right, I am loving this right hand C position. We're playing some great notes there. 
Now you'll notice my count off is a little bit funny this time because we have a, a whole measure of rest. You see the whole rest there? Let's count. One, two, three, rest, 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 and C, E, G, F, E, D, C. Hold and rest. Rest, two, three. C, E, G, down a step to F, E, D, C, two and three. Excellent work. Now that was much better. I bet you're feeling more confident now. Excellent. All right. So we have some really interesting stuff in this song though, right? That's not all the cool stuff in this one. And you'll see why I love this song in just a second. Now, in the bottom portion of your page 18, it says, important, play rockets again, playing the second line, one octave or eight notes higher. The rest at the end of the first line will give you time to move your hands to the new position, okay? Now, this is great because if we're really, really trying to pretend to be a rocket, we have to go higher on the piano to sort of pretend that we're going out into outer space, right? So let's see if we can make that picture come alive here at the piano by moving our hands up. Let's switch to piano view so you can see what I'm doing and then you can practice it that way too, okay? Let's give it a try. You'll see what I'm talking about very shortly. I'm in my C position. Okay, this is just how the song is written. I'm going to play the whole song as I see it, these two lines. But I'm going to add a repeat sign. And remember, after the first line, the second time we play it, we're going to move our hands up. Pay close attention to when that happens so you can memorize it. Here we go. Here's Rockets. One, two, three, ready, and play. tell my students, I say, go for it. You play it higher and higher and higher until you run out of notes on the piano. It just makes it way more fun. And you tell me if you reached Jupiter, if you reached Pluto, if you reached a new galaxy, that would be super cool, wouldn't it? <laughs> what if music was the, uh, Missing link to time travel. What if you just played music over and over and it opened up portals? <gasps> that would be so cool. <laughs> so have fun with rockets. It's so great to learn how to play higher and higher on your piano. Let's close our lesson book and take a look at your technique book. Okay, now in your technique book, we're turning to page 10, which is a really great exercise here called climbing and diving, okay? Now this is talking about um, octaves again. You know that funny word, octave? Now octaves are when we move our hands either up eight notes to make it sound higher or down eight notes to make it lower, 
Okay, we can do it both ways. Eight, uh, eight notes higher or eight notes lower. Okay, it's kind of like when I had you find your white keys on the piano. When you were finding your C, you could count eight notes up to the next C, right? Same thing when you go down. Start on a C and count down eight notes and then you're at another C, right? That's an octave. Climbing and diving is a really fun exercise that explores that too. Luckily, we're playing three notes and that's it. The only thing that's changing is the octave or where we play it on the keys. Let me switch to piano view so you can see what I'm talking about. All right. You see at the beginning of page 10, climbing and diving, there's that third pattern that we had in rockets, right? C, E, G, C, E, G. But then in the second set of um, C, E, Gs, in the left and the right hand, measures three and four, it says play both hands two octaves higher. That's a lot to move. So I'm gonna play through climbing and diving very, very slowly so you can see just how far you need to move your hands. How does that sound? <laughs> All right. Let's start with our regular C position since we know that one really well. I'm going to move my left hand down to that G below middle C and I'm in position. Let's watch to see how high we go. Here we go. One, two, three, ready, and play. C, E, G. Now right hand, C, E, G. Now left hand's gonna cross over to the next C. E, G, and the right hand continues way up here. Very good, and then we start on the second line in that same G. G, E, C. Now left hand, G, E, C. Cross over that right hand on your regular position. G, E, C. And left hand, G, E, C. And then there's a repeat sign. Let's play it again. Watch how I cross so you can do it too. C, E, Finishes really high. Second line start on that high G, E, C, and G, E, C. Back to regular position G, E, C, and G, E, C. And that's the end of the exercise. <laughs> It really is climbing and diving, isn't it? <laughs> climbing up high and then diving down low, right? It's exciting to play all those keys on your piano. And I'm so happy we get to do it together. Do you want to play it again to make sure you got it? Let's do it one more time, okay? And let's make it a little fancy too. Now, if you can reach your pedals on the piano, I want you to use your right foot, this one here, the right foot, and put it on the pedal furthest to the right side. That one's called your damper pedal, okay? So if you're playing on an acoustic piano like me, it's the one furthest to the right. If you have a digital piano with two pedals, play the one on the right. Or if you have a keyboard with just one pedal, then just use that one, okay? You're gonna place your foot on there and press that pedal down. We're gonna put our hands in C position and then we're going to play climbing and diving. Now what's cool about the pedal is it's gonna hold all of those notes down. So if you hit a wrong note, it's also gonna hold the wrong note too. If that happens, just lift your foot and then press it right back down again, okay? 
Let's try it, climbing and diving with pedals. One, two, three, ready, and play. <laughs> with your climbing and diving exercise, okay? You can shut your technique book. Let's move over to our note speller book now, okay? Now in note speller, I want you to turn to page 11, okay? On page 11, your homework exercise is all about melodic intervals. Okay, now remember, melodic intervals are when we play two notes one at a time, okay? It's sort of like separate. Remember what we were just playing? One note at a time, right? Now the opposite of that, if you remember, are harmonics. When you play them at the same time, right? We're doing one at a time here on these. So read very carefully those notes on your staff to see if it's going down or up, okay? And see if it's a second or a third. Have fun with this exercise, okay? Let me know if you need some help with it. Visit me on Discord so you can get that help you need. Now in our theory book, guess what? No theory this week. <laughs> Just note speller, okay? I'm so happy that you're having a great time at piano. We have a little break in our theory book for this time. Now, it's the end of our lesson. Did you have fun? Did you like playing all those octaves? They're really cool, aren't they? It really opens up the piano to you, to all those possibilities. Let's go ahead and sing goodbye. Are you ready? to see how you're progressing in your lessons, okay? Thanks so much for joining us today. And patrons again, thank you for your support every single month to keep me going here. I appreciate you more than you'll ever know. <laughs> I'll see you again soon, Prep Stars, okay? Happy practicing! Bye-bye! <laughs>